Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of multiply and divide positive rational numbers. This is standard 6.3e in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 4 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have the cost of a pound of cherries, it's 350. And Jamal is gonna buy uh, one and a half pounds of cherries. So what is the total cost of cherries? All right, well, we've got a few different ways we can solve this here. Let's draw a picture. Okay, so I'm gonna just draw this uh, as, right, this is my one pound. And we know that this one pound is 350. So the answer definitely needs to be, look, he bought one and a half pounds. So it's greater than that one pound, okay? It's greater than that. So I'm already getting rid of D because he's at least spent 350. Now the question is, is how much more than 350, all right? Well, if I've got that as a full pound, I'm gonna try to make it kind of proportional there. This is half a pound. So he bought one full pound and then a half a pound, right? That's the meaning of your one and a half is we've got a full and then we got a half right there. How much is that half a pound? Well, all I need to do is I need to take that 350 and cut it in half, right? So let's take my 350. Let's divide by two. Let's see, make sure you put a decimal up there on the on the division bar, so that's going to be one. Bring down just one digit at a time. Remember that decimal's up there, so two goes into 15 seven times. Okay. That's going to be a one, and then we bring the zero down. So that's five. Okay, so a buck 75 is what it looks like. Right, and that makes sense if we do 175 and 175, add it together. That is going to be your 350. Okay, so this is a buck 75. So one way to solve this would be to, you know, add your 350 and your buck 75. Let's see what that gets us. Because that's my full pound. That's my half a pound, right? So there's your one, one and a half pounds. So that's five. That's 12. Make sure you line up the decimals here. And that's going to be 5. Okay, so I'm looking at 525. That does look like I have an answer there. C. Now that is, like I said, one way to solve it. Is there another way to solve it? Well, there's multiple ways to solve this. One of the things we could have done is we could have realized that this was a unit rate. Right? So it's 350 per pound. Okay? Now, so if it's 350 per pound... We could have multiplied it by how many pounds we had. Here's the tricky part here. We're used to multiplying by whole numbers. We can even multiply by decimals. But we're not really used to multiplying by mixed numbers. So we would need to turn this mixed number into a decimal. So what is one and a half equal? Well, it's going to be the whole number stays the same. We just need to know the decimal for one half, right? We can always divide up if we're kind of stuck. Hopefully, we've already kind of basically memorized uh, that it's 0 0.5, right? That's 5 tenths. 5 tenths reduces, simplifies to 1 half. So it's 1.5. So I can take my 350 and I can multiply that by 1.5. Now when I multiply, I don't need to line up the decimals. We'll deal with the decimals at the end. So that's 25, that's 15, that's 17. And then you just put your 350 there. Now, you bring in your decimals at the end. I've got one, two, three digits behind the decimal in my factor, so I need three digits behind the decimal in my product, 525, either way you look at it, so my answer here is going to be C.